And again, just like promise, you can comment out each section as you go. If you keep the comma in, in front of it instead of the end, that's why I always put it here. If you were to put the comma at the end, it's not really easy to actually comment this out because some linters get mad if you have a trailing comment like that. So I just put it at the end. That way you can comment it out and see how your little pipeline's going here. Downside to this approach is that the air handling's all on you. So promises, they catch any drama. You just have to do a dot catch and you can log out or handle whatever error it is. Whereas in this case, that's really on you. So debugging this using the tap function is very similar to the other one. We're just gonna assume you have a single argument since these are all predicate functions. So I'm not gonna do the args and there's no harm in doing this. You could do that, but with three dots, we're just gonna do arg for now and go ahead and log out that argument, then return that argument. So this is the basic tab function, which you can then just literally put it in there. And it'll start logging out first after you parse the JSON with the dog in it. Then after you filter the humans, it'll print out two instead of three. And even more, you can do your inline arrow function if you want. We can do, uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> right? Log out your, uh, and then just do your simple or and it'll return the uh because this returns undefined so it'll default to this and so you can log out things as you go without it really affecting the pipeline itself as long as they don't affect anything don't have any side effects you're good and then when you're done you just go ahead and comment them out and your pipeline still sends the output but doesn't have any side effects of logs